I went on a Tinder date, but they look nothing like their pictures. Can they ghost? Hi everyone, I'm Shanice Griffin. I'm James Doyle, and this is The Ick Factor. We need to discuss the scariest topic of Gen Z dating, ghosting. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> So we have a message in our DMs. Hey guys, this might be a controversial opinion, but is ghosting actually the kindest way to break up with someone? I don't mean a proper long-term relationship, but just to end a short-term thing that you don't see going anywhere. I'm a serial dater. You're not Kellogg's. I've been ghosted and I've done the ghosting. Honestly, it's actually kinder than telling them you don't fancy them anymore. I think it's kinder for he slash she, but I think the other the person under receiving end now wouldn't have the same reaction to that. I feel like it can be very daunting when you're going to tell someone that you don't fancy them anymore. Do you ever think there's a situation where ghosting is acceptable? I can think of two. Right. Time, right? So if you've been seeing them a wet week. Secondly, if they're an absolute creep. Have you ever ghosted someone or been ghosted? I think I've been ghosted a couple times. You've definitely done the ghosting no, as well. I, ah, maybe a mutual ghost. I've done the ghosting before. It's a cowardly thing to do. Like just tell the person how you feel essentially because yeah. you're, you're hurting someone in the long run. You go on a few days you add time and you just never get on with anyone, you're the problem. You know Ooh. what I mean? Himself, Leave it as it is, right? Maybe you're the issue. At least dropping him an old text being like, I do not like you anymore. <laughs> bye bye. I wouldn't say it that much now. I'd be like, our time has been sweet. It's not you, it's me. Yeah. Look, you're not a bank. You can lose interest. <laughs> All right, Shanice, we're going to play a little game. To ghost or not to ghost? That is the question. Ooh. We shifted in a nightclub and exchanged numbers. They messaged me the next day, and I honestly can't even remember their name. And I have no intention of ever going out with them. Can they ghost? Yeah, I think that's acceptable because you don't know them. You don't owe them, Martin. We've been on three dates, but I don't see it developing into something. I think they could pick up on that vibe in the last date. It was pretty awkward. Can they ghost? Three dates, it's too much. That is too much. You have to break the news. Drop the message, drop them a text, at least say it's over. Yeah, no ghosting. I went on a Tinder date, but they looked nothing like their pictures. I was too polite to tell them I didn't fancy them, and at the end I agreed to another date just to get out of there. But there's no way I actually will. Can they ghost? Please. No, they can ghost. Yeah, I'm only, yeah, the executive yeah, you can decision. Ghost. That's yeah, weird. You don't only... catfish people. Like, look, in fairness, I shouldn't catfish in the first place. Uh... Well, yeah, that's mm. actually me karma. Not that I'm encouraging it. I'm not encouraging it. It depends. If you have a date and time set, just go and be like, sorry, I don't want anything. This is over. Not going to see you again. If there's nothing, no concrete plans. Bye. <laughs> I matched with a guy from a group of lads I kind of know. I agreed to go on a date with him next week. But last night, I shifted one of his mates in a club when he wasn't there. <laughs> It's gonna be so awkward if I have to tell him. Shouldn't have shifted his me. Yeah, that's a bad decision. The lads will tell him. If they don't tell him sober, they'll take him on a night out and they'll all slip out. I don't think ghosting is the right way about it. Your safe bet is just be honest. Yeah, don't ghost. That's a bad move. No.